everyone. Welcome back to Classic Camp Crafts. I'm Miss Julia, and we're going to start on our project today. We're going to do the Stixels today. These are sort of like perler beads, but you don't need an iron to do them. So your Stixel kit should have this instruction packet, a pegboard, a little ball and chain keychain, and your pack of perler beads. So for this, you have two choices. You can either follow the pattern that they show on the instructions and make the owl, or if you prefer, you can take your beads and make whatever pattern you like. I think I'm going to make the owl, but remember, you can do yours however you want with the materials provided. I'll show you how I do mine, but I am going to speed up the video so you don't have to watch it in real time. This will probably take you somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes. It might take you a little bit longer if you have trouble holding the beads, but remember, you can also ask your grown-up to help. So I'll move this out of the way and carefully put my beads on the table. You might also want to grab a plate if you have one to put your beads on so they don't go all over the place. But I don't have anybody else with me right now, so it'll be pretty easy for me to keep my beads all in one place. Now I'll go ahead and start placing my beads into my stixel. So for this, I'm looking up here at the color beads. I'm gonna find the ones that are the right color and look at where they go and just poke them in. And then this one is the darker orange. There's that first top row all done already. So I'll go ahead and speed up the video here so you can see me do the rest. One thing that I am noticing is that I want to make sure that I press my beads in all the way. Sometimes they don't like to quite stick in there like this. If I press it, do you see how it's kind of up from the rest of them right now? You want to make sure to press it in all the way so that it's flat. Here I realized I made a mistake, but that's okay. So right here, it's supposed to have two blue and not three of these light orange. I think if I'm very careful, I can kind of poke my bead out. There we go. Then I can put in the right color. I've noticed something else. There are two different colors of pink beads. Do you see how that one in the middle is a slightly different color? It's more of like an orangey pink than these ones on the side that are lighter. I realized that I accidentally put in two different colors of pink here. So I think I'll go ahead and fix that too. And I'll carefully find that brighter colored pink out of my beads that I have. It looks like I only have three of these brighter colored ones. I wonder if they got put in there by mistake.
I'll go ahead and use these other ones so that I have enough to go across that whole row. Now mine's all done. I made sure that they're nice and flat on there. The next thing I can do is take my keychain and put the ball part through the hole on the top. And then this just goes, the little ball goes into here and you can clasp it shut. You could put it on something. You could even put it on your bag. There, that looks pretty cool. I liked that one. And look, they've added some extra beads. That must have just been in case some of them went missing on you. So for these extra beads, what I can do is put them back into my plastic bag. And I guess I'll show you guys in another video how to make a bracelet with them. That could be really fun. But if you lose some of your beads, I think that's why they gave you the extras. But I'll try not to lose too many. I don't wanna have to clean them up later. There we go, and then I'll zip the bag closed so they don't escape. Well, that is our Stixel keychain. So if you enjoyed this activity, the other name that these go by are Perler Beads. You can usually find them in the craft store. I hope you enjoyed this craft, and if this one is your favorite, remember to save it for show and tell. Happy crafting! Bye!